Hey guys, I am back for another video here. And again, I hope that you liked that little demo. Um, I hope it gave you a taste of just how fun the combat is. You know, honestly, after playing that, I wanted to go set up the game and play it. That was just, I love the combat system, especially fighting champion monsters, because you never know. Um, the, closing that out, when you do your quests, um, usually 90% of the time, champion monsters are going to be safeguarding the quest items that you need. Um, and I think a quest item fell out over here. I'm going to show you. There we go. Bear with me. Oh, this is a fun quest. This is a cool quest. So these are like, this is a quest item. And of course, they're going to be flipped over. Um, the nice thing is, again, replay value. You'll never know um, in the chambers of the dungeon what monsters are going to come out. The monster, it could be an empty chamber when you go in. There could be a, you know, a level one if you're level one or a level two. Different monsters every time. You'll never see the same monster in the chamber. Um, but usually champion monsters are safeguarding um, quest items. So this just like, that's like one of the quest items here. That's nitrate. And that is for a very cool quest I wrote called Boom Goes the Village. Very neat quest. So hopefully it's getting focused there. Nitrate. Freddy Lopez painted that. So, and what is it? I think there's over 70 unique quest items in the game. So you can create your own quests. So anyway, I hope you like that little um, demo. Actually, and before we go, I showed these in the thing. I've been wanting to show these for the last... Um, few videos. This is what you're going to want. Um, I mean, of course, we're going to be breaking the entire game down. This is what I'm going to be recommending to store this game in. This is essential. Because I don't think I showed these yet. No, did I? I think it was just in the intermission. You definitely want these kind of things to store all the tokens in. And again, when that's what we're going to be pulling out now, the token sheets. And um, later on, I'm going to break everything down. I'm going to show you how nicely everything goes and how to organize it. And I actually, I just ran to Walmart to get and got these, and I think I got out for under 20 bucks. I think these were like six bucks or something, and these were three. So they were not very expensive at all. But you are definitely going to want these things for this game. Um, real quickly, you're going to put all your tokens, even your dice. Um, I even think your doors would fit in there. I would just leave the doors the way they are. You know, stick them on their thing so you don't have to keep undoing them and putting them all in. And those will go in the box after you break the game down. Um, so my point is, once you put all your markers and tokens and dice and little clips, like for your hero cards in here, you can store everything inside this box. And you're going to see, because, you know, I said it was all discombobulated, I organized everything. And you'll get an idea how this game is going to be packed. And you're going to be able to fit all of your stuff inside of this box. Um, someone asked me, that made me, Avalon Adventure Board Game. This, of course, won't fit because it's longer. I'm going to, since this, remember, this is a sample game. Um, this is for us to review it, you know, fine-tuning. And, of course, that's, you know, that's what we're going to be doing. You know, it's not just, we're going to fine-tune it. And I'm very hypercritical about this game. I'm going to see, if I can open this, if they could do a, um, maybe like a trifold. I mean, I like it as a bifold right now because it's just, it's nice. But if they did a tri-fold, you know, you fold it once, fold it again, that will definitely go in the box. So that's something we are going to look at for the Avalon Adventure board game board. Okay. So anyway, I wanted to say that. And you're going to kind of see how I think they're going to pack this game. Um, it's just, I kind of made sense of, of all that when I had to redo everything and get everything in order. Hold on. I'm making... Hopefully the camera doesn't fall. Okay, there we go. So, I don't, want to, I don't want to mess anything up. So you can see already, I kind of boxed everything back up and the cards are underneath. I don't want to take all these things out, but I took all the dungeon boards and they fit even with all of the stuff in here. Those dungeon boards fit. So all your extra stuff, if you got the add-on, um, heroic difficulty, expert difficulty, the extra heroes, you're going to be able to fit all that stuff in here. It, it will definitely fit. Um, 
So that's what I wanted to tell you that, you know, I, I see how I think they're going to pack this game. Um, this is where all the plastic and dice and all that's going to go here. Um, and then, you know, they're just when you get this, it's just going to be the ancient runes and the Tomb of Kaladar. And that will go in here. So I see now how those engineers are masterminds, how they came up with this exact size. Everything will fit in there. Shipping. So let's get out these punch boards and take a look at them. And I'll show you how I packed it inside. And I, I'd imagine they're going to be doing the same. So we're going to go through these right now. Because I want to get these done. Because I want to break it apart and show you everything. And mine got a little... Okay, so I can show you. So I think they're going to do something like this. Um, you know, I have, and actually, you know what? I threw, this is, this is the other set of quest cards. This is for the expansion pack for the Castle Blackwood and the Cavern of Lost Souls. So you can see, I mean, everything fit right in there very nicely. And they'll probably pack the plastic pieces over here, dice, and then, you know, put it, all your punch boards and your dungeon board, and there you go. That's so we'll see if I'm right, but I think that's how they're going to do it. Put that there. We're going to put this back on. Um, we're going to go over cards next, too. You're going to wait to see the Luke deck. Okay, so let's go over some of the punch boards. And again, I hope you're enjoying this. I know I am. I'm, I'm loving this. Um, there's a raid token. Actually, I'll show you that real quick. See that? Remember, um, minions. Um, minions start out in the game as vagrant, meaning you know they just walk aimlessly in, in the dungeon um, on the patrol route system. We're going to get into the patrol route system. It's an exclusive game mechanic I designed, and it gives you a living dungeon experience. So it's very cool. Um, when a vagrant minion converts into a raiding minion, it's trying to get it to go in focus. It's not going to go, is it? No. There it goes. So when a vagrant minion goes, converts into a raiding minion, you put this on its monster card, and then it's going to head right out the dungeon and going to try to raid the village. You definitely want to kill raiding minions. So that's what that is. That fell out. Um, that fell out. That was just the when I broke the doors apart. That was the spruce for that. Um, what did I think that I show this before? There's... Um, Tracking, tracking tokens are used when you when a hero is being tracked by a guardian. Guardian monsters are like the boss creatures, monsters of the game. So you're going to take um, there's there's another cheat here that has those a uh, tracking token like say one. Put that on a hero card. Put the other one on the monster card. That signifies that guardian is tracking that hero. And we'll get into how to lose. Uh, Guardian from tracking a hero. I mean, a good way is just to kill it if you have extra heroes. You don't want to go up against a Guardian with a solo hero. Cardboard money. I mean, I've been dying to do that. So everything is all nice and retro. Um, honestly, I'd prefer this than those gold coins they have. I just, I love retro stuff. There's 500 and then there's 100. And I think... How much gold is in this game? I think it's 16,800. But I made sure that, you know, there was enough because, you know, there's a whole economy in Dungeon Crusade. Put that over there. Um, some of the awesome... I think, did I show this stuff before? There's some of the um, retro cardboard miniatures. These are marker tokens. You're going to be using that on that Dungeon UI board. So you just punch those things out and you'll... It's for various tracks in the game. So there's that. Really, again, awesome work. And thank you, um, Freddy, Art of Freddy Lopez. And then I did the kind of the design of the background and all that. And then Dean Spencer um, did like the outline of the shape because I wanted to have that, you know, shape for them, not just square or round ones. So very, very cool. Nope, there's Albus. That is the party's fetch hound. And there's a lot of stuff I could say about Albus. There's a cool story behind Albus. That's for another day. Here we go, some punch boards. Oh, that's where the rating token came out. Um, web tokens are for shadow dwellers. There's a minion known as a shadow dweller. 
and they can web a hero. So you have to be careful of that. Mystery chamber, I've kept those a secret and they're gonna stay a secret. Um, secret room chambers, that's when you are going to discover a, a secret room. So that's what that's for. Again, there's the other set of tracking tokens. Um, those are for the mining sites, in case you didn't know. Dungeon, there's mining and crafting in Dungeon Crusade that you can craft power gems that plug into certain weapons and gear. Um, so that's what that is. And treasure chest tokens, those go, there's 10 spaces on all the dungeon boards. You put those, and those simply, um, for when, you, when your hero lands on it, you can draw a treasure chest card, and we'll be looking at those. So that's what that is. So treasure chest tokens. So there's that. And I'm at the 10-minute mark, so I want to I stay around that. So I'm just going to stop. I'm going to pick up the next sheet, and we're going to keep this rolling. I will talk to you in a few.